This second uh, problem, oh, this should be number five, uh, example number five, requires us to use the second method of, you know, solving simultaneous equation. There is uh, elimination method and now there is substitution method. Uh, and it says solve the simultaneous equation, okay, this is a simultaneous equation, using substitution method. So we are going to see how we, 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 we solve this problem using substitution method. Now in the substitution method, you usually pick, uh, express one of the equations in terms of the other and whatever you do, substitute it in the next equation. Now taking this one to our equation one and this one as our equation two, so yes, let's get equation 1. So it's x plus 3y equals to 5. Now take 3y the other side. We shall say x equals to 5 minus 3y. So what you have done now, you have expressed x in terms of y. You have expressed x in terms of y. Now you shall take this value of x and substitute it in the second equation. So we substitute this, this now, this. Instead of having to write x here, we write 5 minus, okay, minus 3y. So let's see. So in our second equation, we have y equals to, no, y plus 3x equals to 7. So we substitute this one, which we got from equation 1. Remember, this was equation 1, and this is equation 2. So we are going to take this one and substitute it in the other equation. So we shall have y plus 3. Now instead of writing x, instead of writing x, we put this one because x equals to that. It's 5 minus 3y, right? Equals to 7. Now let's see. Let's open the brackets. y plus 15 minus, this is 15 minus 9y equals to 7. So this should be, group the like terms together, y minus 9y Okay, plus 15 equals to 7. Now, y minus y, 9y is a negative 8y, right? Negative 8y. Okay, equals take the other side is 7 minus 15. So, we say negative 8y equals to 7 minus 15 is negative 8. Good. So, we say now, uh, negative 8y equals to negative 8. You divide by negative 8 by negative 8. You get y equals to negative goes by 8, 1 by 8, 1. So y is 1. Some substitution. You have already gotten now y. Now to get the value of x, you take this y, okay, and substitute it in this point here. Alright? Substitute it in this point here. So we have been given that x was... 5 minus 3y. So we say this is 5. x will be 5 minus 3 into, now bring in your 1. So this one x becomes 5 minus 3 and for that case x is 2. For that case x becomes 2. So now this is the substitution method where you pick one of the equations express one unknown in terms of the other now take that one substitute it in the second equation now uh, open the brackets get the value of the second unknown and then using that the first expression get the value of the first 